a, a, a signed up trade every day since yeah. then. <laughs> since then? Since then, yeah. Since 14. Yeah, since 14, yeah. It's just pretty much every day. I was like, first month, I'm making sure that I'm just, I'll, I'm getting every session in. And I think that, that was probably the hardest month. But after that, it just became easier. And like, I used to just play games all the time, just video games. And then, like, what was video games is now like Jiu Jitsu. So, like, it's the exact same thing. And like, it's just pretty much like a, like a puzzle. Like, Jiu Jitsu is a puzzle. But like, while, while you're doing the puzzle, the puzzle constantly changes. So, in that way, I found it. Like, like you don't have to be like the biggest, strongest guy, most most athletic. It does help, but like, also gave me hope to like, just beat bigger people. And then, then you you see it with other people like the small guys just beating everything. Like, that's probably the best thing I find about jiu-jitsu, where like a small guy is just like. Absolutely destroying some big guy because it's like it just shows the technique in it. A puzzle. Yeah, it's a pu it's definitely a puzzle because if you turn it, it's like when I go on a competition, like it's like a f it's like a fight, but like when you're training, it's like a puzzle. That's what it feels like with me right now, and like when I'm in a puzzle, I feel like I can I can win win the match. But when it's a fight, it becomes more, more 50-50. Uh, so then, game. yeah, it's a game, yeah, yeah. So the, the stakes are lower, I, I would imagine. But then it's like all the pressure and then the fight, it's like, well, you just gotta be amped up and then it's, a, it's everything, it's a, attacking you at the same time. But like, when it's a puzzle, you just, it's kind of just playing chess or something. You're just doing the next move and figuring it out. Where like all this pressure about a fight, and when you come when you compete, and it's like oh it's a fight, so then it's like oh I have to do this, so I, I make sure that I'm this person, so that people respect me because I I've been winning all this stuff. But it's like it's so different from what what I am as a person. It's like I just like I just like rolling like beating people up, but like. It's the opposite, where like you've got to be a showman as well. Do you know what I mean? You've got to show that you're like, like this type of character of a person. I don't know. It's kind of similar to like partying and stuff, where like you you kind of just like go crazy for I don't know, like six hours. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like you you're thinking about like all of this stuff, like oh, you win this match and like yeah. You, you chill out, have some fun, like, but like in my head, I'm like, like I'd rather be at the gym, just, yeah. just training, um, yeah. It's just pure entertainment. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The guys that who can entertain and perform are the guys who like rise at the top. They ri they rise because of the peop those people that attract the help that they get, that all of the like monetary value it gives the, like people. So then it's like to do that. As me, like right now, it's like, it's like, I'm trying to put on a fake act. Where it's like, I'm not even that person. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even that person. It's like, why am I trying to be a showman? It's like, no. It's like, that's what I was thinking about it. And like, as well, when you, when you just dedicate training to training, it's like there is no, there is no final goal, and it's always like. There's no final goal, but it's like, you're just pushing and you're thinking like, oh, what's this all for? And like, the only real thing I can think about when I'm, when I'm training is like, if I were to just st stop training and just play video games the rest of my life, I would regret the fact that I didn't train all the time. Thinking in my head, why am I even doing this? Like, I'm being an idiot, like, there's no point in me playing video games for the rest of my life, because it has no value. But then you could say that about anything, but the fact that I love jiu-jitsu, and it's painful, 
it may, the pain itself is probably what makes it worthy. Like, if the only thing that I can feel that is real is like like pain, pretty much. Because like that's the only thing. Like that's what we feel as people. Suffering. Suffer. We suffer. Uh, and it's like. It's growth, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and like every day I would like. I would feel like there's like a like a monster that you have to like like slay or destroy. You just have to beat it like because like either you don't beat it and you you get you beat yourself up or you do beat it and you feel accomplished but it's like obviously the monster gets bigger and bigger and bigger every single time you you do like obviously when somebody first trains that's the monster because like they're thinking about oh first training like what do people think of me like am i going to be good am i actually worth doing jiu-jitsu like then it's like Oh, like it's just normal. Then, like the monster becomes, oh, first competition, and then it's like, oh, the competition doesn't matter because, like, you're now, you're now recognised as someone good, and so now you have to do well in competitions. So you expect to do good. If you lose, then it's like, it's kind of like, it's you. The competition itself before was hard to just enter, but now the competition to win is now the the monster. And then like, small competitions don't matter. And then you have to go big competitions. That's what matters. And then it's like, just constantly grows and grows and it's just wrapping around your mind. But then it's like, that's the pain that we have to go through. And, uh, and I, at this moment, right, I feel, I feel as if I've like, kind of sacrificed all, I've, all I have, all I could have done to get to this point. So like right now, I'm kind of in a position where I'm happy because I'm training and, and I've got nothing else. Like I'm just training and I've put myself in a position to just be able to train all day, every day. And, I, and that's what makes me happy right now. But like, I'm also happy because of the gains it'll give me. But then it's also, a, kind of like jumping off a cliff and thinking you'll be able to fly. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's the jump, isn't it? I've just jumped. I've jumped off and like thinking about all the things that I've sacrificed. Like, it, it's not like I've done, uh, I don't know, but like, it makes me feel as if like, it's like really cold. It's like really cold. Like that's what it feels like, like really cold. And like, obviously there's light in the end of the tunnel, but it's like, it's extremely dark. But you feel like you're in this. I'm in the tunnel. In the tunnel right I'm in the tunnel, yeah.